Hello, people. Biggest thorn in my backside. So it's just me and armor. So sometimes nice doesn't necessarily have to mean you get a chicken burger. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. It's lunchtime, baby. And fabrics, we are going to sell you. I've had enough. <laughs> this is the shoulders, bro. Shoulder man is finished. <laughs> KBT Weekly, welcome back to episode 26. You join us in the new year. I'm standing here in the warehouse. Today is Wednesday. And you might ask yourself, why are we filming on a Wednesday, Faris? And the reason being was Monday was a bank holiday. We don't normally take bank holidays off, but Saj was feeling very generous. Told all the boys, said, don't worry, boys, sit at home. Have Monday out on me. Well, we were supposed to film yesterday, but unfortunately, I was on my own. Saj didn't come in. A few of the lads are off on this new COVID variant. Yesterday was just manic, right? I came in, I literally had no time to myself whatsoever. No time to reply to a WhatsApp message, let alone talk to you guys on camera. I've just freed myself up. The boys have gone on lunch, hence the reason why it's so quiet behind me. But yeah, we're just getting on with it, to be honest with you. We're catching up with the backlog over the holidays. Just been doing a bit of ordering, paying some suppliers, rallying the boys, making sure that everything is getting done. We are short-staffed. My father is not currently here either. So it's just me and Armour. We're holding the fort as per usual. But yeah, what can I tell you other than we're busy as hell. Alhamdulillah, it's a good start to the new year. But yeah, man, plenty of things happening. As you know, we're heading to Pakistan next month. So I'm also dealing with that. I've dealt with the carne. Carne has been issued. Spoken to the boys who are coming along. I got one of the boys who you guys briefly met on my vlog when we were in Amsterdam. We went to pick him up from the airport. My brother Wasim. But yeah, man, that's very really. That's everything from me. We'll see you tomorrow. Boys are on lunch, so we'll quickly just go through the packing table to kick things off is my favorite fabric the car headliner fabric and this is finished in the black we have spoken about this many and many a times and where we have the same fabric now you might ask yourself why this is rolled and why this is folded now on our website you have a choice you can either have it rolled but it's more expensive or you could have it folded a lot less why not just have it folded for the cheaper price now if you're using this fabric straight away to put up on a headliner, you would not want it sent to you folded because this fabric will develop creases while in transit. Now, although them creases will eventually fall out, but you will have to leave the fabric open at home or wherever it is, and eventually the creases will fall out. But just hold that thought. Let me get this phone call. Good afternoon, KBT. Right, where was I? Just to give our customers the choice, we don't want them to say, well, why is it only available on the roll? We don't need to use it for another three months. Okay, so swiftly moving on. Next fabric is this white tarpaulin heavy duty waterproof fabric. This is off to Devon. Now this has various uses. This can be used in tents. As you know, one fabric can be used in hundred different applications, but yeah. The boys have been grafting hard to get the table cleared. This yesterday was manic. New year, new me. <laughs> keeping it moving, keeping it going. We had a pallet going to London today, which is left for our main client. 2,000 meters of peach skin. Also had uh, another delivery going to Nottingham. Instead of sending it with uh, our courier, we decided to just send it with our own driver. Save on a bit of costs and make means the customer gets it today as well. Happy days. Just to explain, uh, why we use our own van versus sending it with TNT or with UPS, for example. The amount of goods that we send now is actually exceeds, not exceeds, but if we were to send it with a courier, it would cost us a lot of money. So just to keep the cost down, as Nafis just explained, we do use our own van. The customer ordered 60 meters yesterday, and we got it prepared this morning, and I decided when I looked at it, I thought, well, 
although Nottingham is the other way-ish, I said, can you drop this off as well? It's only 30, 40 miles that way. And then adds on 30, 40 miles to his journey, or maybe 50 miles to his journey, there and back. But regardless, it still works out a lot cheaper for us to stick her in the van. So he's actually got three deliveries in the van, which overall will cost us maybe about £80 in diesel. If we were to send it with TNT, that would cost us probably £80 a consignment. So we're saving ourselves £160 there. So sometimes, I know it's 2022 and it's all about New Year, New Me and all that business. But some things don't change around here and it's lunchtime, baby. So let's head out. But, 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 we are on a diet. So we're going to start eating healthy. So first things first, we're going to go to m and like Yes, my brother. A bit of YouTube. That's the one, man. Yeah, Adam's a bit shy, but he's coming for some Gorilla Glue. Give me a shout out if you Which, want. may I add, he found on our YouTube video. So, we're turning our subscribers into customers. Ching, ching. It's going to take some money off him. Right, the boys are continuing on sorting the warehouse out. These are a couple of the rolls which were dismembered. I don't know if that's the right choice of word. We'll stick with dismembered. So when one half of the roll is sticking out and the other half of the roll is floppy on one end, we'll call it dismembered. But that's what the boys are doing now. They're just re-rolling some material. But as you can see, man, the warehouse is looking very, very tidy from where it was a month ago. Seeing as we're walking past Saji's corner shop, I'm going to dismantle this shelf and actually put some racking up here. Not racking, but some boxes. So we're going to turn these around and, and shelf all this up. So, we've got some pineapples with some melon and grape. And we've got some easy peelers, satsumas, tangerines. And then we've got some bananas and then Mexican bean wrap. It's a healthy lunch. No crisps, no sugary drinks. Nice doesn't necessarily have to mean you get a chicken burger. My favourite, gut health as well. Mm -mm -mm. Can't beat M&S for quality, let me tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so we just had a delivery of some suede fabric. Let's open this up. Right, so we're gonna head over towards Stanley in a little while. We've got a few jobs for him. One is the boards. The second job, more importantly, is we had some benches brought back from London yesterday. As you know, our driver went to London so I'm just currently in the midst of cutting some suede material. So this is suede finished in a very, very light grey. So this particular fabric can be used in many different applications. So you can cover a bench, you can cover anything you want. It's a decorative material. Finishes off whichever product that you put it onto with a nice plush feel soft feel you can use it for bedding headboards cushions you can use it for car interiors put it on your dashboard on your roof lining you can put it on your steering wheel so many uses for one fabric but yeah we'll leave a link to this suede material in the description below do go and check it out it's available in about 40 different colors <laughs> Very cold, very, very cold. These are the benches that we picked up from London and we're going to reupholster. They're from a chicken and chip shop. Very good friends of my cousin's BSL. So we're gonna get this job done. Well, I say we're gonna get this job done. We're gonna get these benches delivered to Stanley and get them redone. Hello everybody, we're off. 
to Greg's to get a coffee. Up to the front, Ferris goes jump in the, jump in the van. We're going to Stanley, so here we are. We've got some chairs here. Looks like it's going to Stanley, and um, the boys are starting filling the van in. Yeah, just a wee bit chilly, buddy. How's it going, mate? All right. Right, the boys have just loaded the benches in. I've also got to drop the suede off, which we spoke about earlier. Let's head out, head towards Stanley, and we'll catch you guys when we're there. Right, so we've just arrived at Stanley's undisclosed location. We're just about to unload these benches, hand them over to Stanley, get Stanley to work out how much material is needed. It's simple enough, bread and butter work, something that we do on a daily basis. Hello, everybody, happy new year, everybody. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Today, call me Big Boss in the motorway now and say, I want you back. I don't know. I speak later again. And Big, and big Boss. Very soon, I think, coming back. Uh, my job here is uh, a Chesterfield restore and put online and sell. This is my small business, a family business. It's going good, thank you. God is going good. Ask for, for, for foam and uh, everything because, listen, uh, it's not comfortable to sit and eat. And, you understand? I don't think it's Yeah, 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 yeah. This is double? Yeah. Okay. Ready for, for pictures, ready for pictures, very bad condition, but uh, now it's, uh, it's ready. This is, this is set, three and two seater, uh, so far for somebody, for somebody. I have uh, people uh, waiting, you understand me, make me order and uh, I make uh, a restore for these people. But this is for example, it's my furniture, I bought it and uh, bad condition and uh, make restore. Okay, so we know what we're doing. So we're replacing the back cushion. We're replacing the trim around the bottom. We're replacing the back. The actual bottom part of the seat, it's just like a, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it seems like it's like a wood that's been painted. Obviously the back has got foam and vinyl wrapped around it, but the bottom has not. So I'm gonna confirm with the client whether he wants that changed so we can put foam and vinyl down the bottom as well. So we've got plenty happening. There's about three or four jobs in the pipeline, but we'll leave Stanley to it. Well, Stanley's off to London to collect another job, so we're gonna leave yeah. Stanley to it, and we'll see you later in the week, yeah. Stanley. Yeah, I'm going. Thank you. Thank you so much. Later. See you soon. KBT Weekly, welcome back and you join us on Friday, it's Juma, and I'm in the warehouse, I'm just cutting some fabric, just helping Sam out a little bit, just making sure that all the orders are ready cut to be sent out and delivered to the customer over the weekend and early part of next week. Things are getting somewhat back to normality, most of the lads are here, a few of the lads are still off. Let us know at your place if your staff are the same. Right. As I said, I'm just helping out Sam, cutting some orders, and I thought I'd talk about this fabric, seeing as it is one of our new lines. This is our four ounce waterproof in the camouflage colors. It's one of our new range, as I just mentioned. So this is finishing what we call a tropical color. And then we have another colorway, which is fire red. Now this fabric is suitable for various different projects. As always, as you know, guys, and I say time and time again, one fabric can be used in 100 different applications. Whatever it may be, whatever your heart desires, you can use it. 
So I'm, I'm just on the phone to Volkswagen Van Center just trying to get an update on my van. But in the meantime, there's not a lot going on. Boys are just getting on with their work. I wouldn't say there's anything exciting happening here at the office. You know, people are just getting back into the swing of things. Unfortunately, I'm sorry that last week and this week will be a bit of a short vlog. Okay, what, what is it that you've done to the van? I'll be honest, I don't know the ins and outs of it yet. Um, so I need to find out all of the information, but I know that the windscreen people have come out twice now. So it's all fitted back together, but we just going to rewater test it. Make sure it's actually done, and then we're going to fit the trim back on. You know the other thing um, I spoke yeah. to Ray about, the windscreen. They fitted a non-genuine windscreen to the van. It's, it's, it's a Volkswagen windscreen. It's, there's no stamp on there? It's a, it's a Volkswagen windscreen. It's come in a Volkswagen box from our park department. We don't supply non-genuine. What we can't do because we can't get paid for them under warranty. I spoke to Ray and okay, he said... Yeah. And he said... That's oh, you'd have to take up with parts. No, no with all due respect, with all due respect, why would I need to take that up with parts? I'll take it no, up no, with no, yourself. I said, I need to take that up with parts. I said, I need to take that up with parts. Right. However, we've ordered it from Volkswagen directly and that's what they've supplied. Right, we I'm don't put non-genuine screens into... I can't get paid under warranty if I put a non-genuine screen in it. No, I understand what you're saying. I take that on board. But I actually spoke to Ray, and you can confirm this with him. And when we went out, when we collected the van originally, uh, I said to him, this, this windscreen is a non-genuine windscreen because it doesn't have a Volkswagen stamp on it. Right? right. Although, although it's not the end of the world, uh, you know, it's a new van. Do you know what I mean? Uh, exactly. I just, That's why we wouldn't put a non-genuine screen in it. I know you keep saying that, but it is a non-genuine yeah. windscreen. You're, wel you're welcome to go out and have a look in the corner. Have a look at one of your other vans that have come from factory. And you'll yeah. see where the text is, where it, where it actually explains the density of the windscreen, etc, etc. Yeah, there's yeah. a Volkswagen stamp there. Now, okay. if you look at my windscreen, there's no Volkswagen stamp. Yeah. So, what that okay. means well, is that it, it's, not, it's not an approved Volkswagen part. Because at the moment, we're in the right frame of mind of just saying, well, just keep the van, either give us a new yeah. one or just give us the money back. Yeah, you know. I've got you. I spoke to them a few days ago. They said they were calling out a body shop to have a look at the structure on the van. I'm not sure what that means. I've just asked her, what exactly have you done to the van? And uh, she's not sure herself. Uh, it's not the best customer service, to be honest with you, but it is what it is, you know, trying not to be difficult with them at the same time. But I feel like all I'm doing in these vlogs is just messing around with cars and vans and, and you know that's not my intention we're here to sell you fabrics and fabrics we are going to sell you so make sure guys www.fabricuk.com no seriously guys uh, I'm gonna go upstairs I'm gonna go and reply to some emails and see if there's any work that any of the boys need at hand with but other than that we'll catch you guys most likely after Juma when we go for our favorite time of the day which is what? It's lunchtime, baby! The biggest thorn in my backside right now is customs. We're sending out goods international with all the relevant paperwork and it still gets rejected and sent back to us. And we're the bad guys here because the customer will call us and say, where is our goods that we paid for? And they're sitting in a depot somewhere in Milton Keynes for like three days and then they decide to send it back to us. I told you you should knock the international off there. Knock it on the head. Finish. <laughs> Saj wants me to knock the international orders on the head. But I feel as if why should we be subjected to that? Everybody thought it was a good idea to leave EU. But at the end of the day, it's causing so much problems. Containers are delayed. Can't get anything out of the country. Can't get anything in the country. I've had enough. The biggest kick in the teeth, right, is that they returned it because there's no commercial invoice attached. And Nafis has done his job absolutely correctly, has attached the commercial invoice, even wrote on there, this is a commercial invoice for export use. And they've returned it because they said there's no commercial invoice on there. Can you believe it? I mean, it's just feel as if they're just saying, well, no, we're not sending that one. Right, okay, that one can go. Right, we're not sending that one. Right, that one can go. We should claim the money back. This is going to Spain. Glass glitter vinyl. In fact, this customer messaged me today and I told the poor chap that he'll have it any minute now when I tracked it 
it's saying on there that it's with the depot. Track it, and it says it's with the depot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my rant over. Hello. Hello, people. There's always work going on, on camera and off camera. There's more actually off camera than on camera. Issues, funny issues, mostly being international, as Faris has explained. Just on the phone to him now, just so can see, get some bit more clarification as to why it's being returned. It's an absolute joke. I mean, do you know that pallet we sent to Spain the other day? That's apparently still sitting in customs because now they want commodity codes. After we've sent them that, they want HS codes. We sent them that. Then they want square meters. I don't know what's going on. I mean, everything's on the invoice, but they seem to want it again and again and again. So I had a good go at our email and I hope that's getting cleared. It's currently still sitting in Bradford in customs. And bear in mind that was sent out. Was it before, before Christmas? There's just issues, man, with the uh, international. But alhamdulillah, all our domestics are going out in the UK. It's just the international ones, but see if you can get to the bottom of it. Mess about with these machines, eh? So they move the handle and break the whole thread in stuff. Maybe new year gone, so we still look like olden days. started and I'm still old no have a haircut nothing I think I'm planning next week will be changed so my plan and Farid's plan was change the warehouse we change it the whole boys teamwork was the best so now we got like be honest what we done my body little bit wiggling but we done a heavy job but uh, what job we done is gonna take years and years so the shop is built off so no more is gonna be hard job but it's gonna be like just delivery out and in back and the quilted machines so like you know there's an order coming like thousand meter 300 400 so i'm back to machines so now the heavy job is finished i'm in live jobs so <laughs> this is the shoulders bro shoulder man is finished <laughs> Right guys, that brings this week to a close. There's not much been happening here. Boys have just been getting on with their work as we get back into the swing of things in the new year. But yeah guys, that's everything from me. And we'll most definitely, as always, see you again, same time, same place next week.